Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Oh, let me just pick this up. Let me point the camera at myself. Oh. Uh, bring the camera in, actually, shall I? Or shall I leave it out there? I can leave it out there. Oh, point this at me. Ah, so I'm at a weird angle, aren't I? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the shed. Um, today, yes, what are we doing? I got a massage, a message, from a tuba, a YouTuber, um, asking if um, I could take the um, towel section off because they want to change it for something funky. And I thought, alright, okay, I can do that, I can do that, ain't such a big problem, so let me get everything in shot. Okay, so this is Jeff's bike. Um, if you want to know how to take the seat off, boot, see video taking the seat off. If you want to see video taking the side panels off and taking the back section off, the side panels, two brackets here, see that video because I've done it three or four times and everyone will get a little miffed if I do it again. Right, so what have we got? Seat off, undo that, seat off, away. Um, undo the two screws here. Remember, one's long, one's short. Take the two metal plates off. There's a metal plate within a metal plate, so make sure it doesn't fall down and scratch the bike. Take that off, same with the other side. Now, sometimes this tail section, or the metal brackets, sorry, they're in tight. You might have to loosen these two bolts up, okay? So be prepared for it, so you can take the sight um, rails off. Then you pull the towel section back a little bit, lifts off. Right, okay, so that's that done. These, by the looks of things, are four mil, four mil? We'll have a guess at four mil. Let me show you, make sure it's all been shot, yep. Yeah, four mil, baby. Right, um, three bolts by the looks of things. One, two, three. So, are they four mils? It feels a bit baggy. No, 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 they're, they're four mils. Yep, a um, tiny amount of Loctite on that. How do they expect it to work? I don't know. Um, got the key in the ignition. Let me do that. Let me put the key in the ignition because I'm going to move the alarm in a second. Uh, oh yeah, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, tiny bit of Loctite on that, I mean a tiny bit. Um, right, let me just make sure I've got the keys, disable the alarm. Yeah, that's disabled, the keys are in there. Um, right, thank you very much. Um, right, don't worry about undoing this lot, okay? this bundle here, because you can, one, go for the big connector up here, or you can undo the individual connectors back here. And don't worry about them, one black one, two white ones, one white one's got two leads, one white one's got three leads, so you can't mix them up, and this burnt orange one unplugs that. Um, let me pull this up. You have got this big connector here that you can undo which looks really impressive Ugh. and that's key weighed too so you, you can't mess it up so let's put that back in there and put that there apparently on the new the new um the new bikes that are coming this is supposed to be a lot lot better on the um, street rod street rod 750s right just push the alarm out lift it out of the way. No need to unplug it, it's easier to do that. Be careful with these clips, they're plastic, so don't go bonkers. Uh, undone that one, undone that one, one. Right, last one. Oh, Ooh, that one's got a lot of Loctite on it by the feel of things. This back section, please don't just fall on the floor. Looks like it's clipped in, actually. I'll zoom in on that in a sec. Um, yeah, this has got a lot of Loctite on it, actually. Okay, why aren't you coming off? Because it had a ton of Loctite on it. Right, okay. Put 
the only key down there. Now this towel section just pulls out, I think. Pull up, right, okay, that clip stays there. Okay, oh, and the towel section just drops out. <laughs> right, um, let me put this up there. See, this has got a slide on it, and it slides up. Uh, it might need squeezing up a bit actually because it's a bit it's a bit loose so I'll yeah I'll do that oh well there you go look see and that is just a clip you push it in and it clips out or you slide it out and then it clips back up right so that's the that's the towel section off but take it away from the bike left with these two rails and that's where he wants to put his light how you mount that I don't know a quick look inside um Right, okay, there for the bosses for the American number plates. Let me drop that down. Yeah, okay, that's obviously that the two plastic ones for the British number plates, European number plates. Yep, okay, that's the alarm plate which does push out on these clips if you want to. Um, that's stuck in there, so this light unit. Obviously, one, two, three, four, if you want to lift a light unit out. Yep, and that just pulls back. Um, that's not what he wanted to do, so I'm not going to do that, because that's not what he asked. But, um, yeah, there's, there's the towel section off. Um, there are the bolts, they are bolts to hold the indicator on, if you want to remove the indicators. All these are... There's the leads up there, bolt for the other one. Yeah, so so that, that's the inside of the towel section, and that's how to remove the towel section. It's really quite simple. Really quite simple. And for putting the towel section back together again, give that a bit of a squeeze. Make sure I'm in shot. Sorry, I'm holding it up backwards, aren't I? Um, swing that round. Um, up underneath the bike, a little tag here goes on the frame here. Uh, make sure my wiring is inboard. Uh, make sure the two tags are inside that frame, part of the frame. Yes, 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 and yes. Get up there. You're inside the frame. You're inside the frame. And pull. Yeah. Click. Click. And it clicks. Alright, and it just sits back. Okay, okay, the click sounded scary, but it's just a metal bracket clicking back into place. You can just push off and click in. Okay, um, I'll do that one first. Hold that up. They're on adjustable eyes, so obviously there's a bit of tolerance there. So don't do it all up hard stiff until we've got the side ones in I suppose. Side ones. No, they just whiz in. Just whiz in guys. Just whiz in. Um, shall I lock tight them up? Why not? It had some lock tight. Ah! Oh! Lock tight's on the bench. Seems I'm not going to take. Oh gosh, someone's going to phone up and say, "Oh, can you take the indicators off and can you take the things off?" Right. Seems it only had a tiny bit of Loctite on it. I'm only putting a little bit back on. Most of it on my fingers. Hence the blue overalls. Right, that one I'll tighten up. <sighs> This one I'll put another drop out. I didn't put a little, drop a little tight on it. I'll do that now. Thank you very much. I wonder if it makes a difference because one side's got red on it and the other side's got blue. I don't know what that's about. Okay. Right, that's in. Got to hurry up. So let me just, that's on an adjustable one. 
most of that is lock tight on this isn't is actually past the bit where it clamps <laughs> but hey ho put a tiny spot on it Blip. actually put it on the end because that's the bit that grabs that's probably why I can see the lock tight on that one because they actually um, missed and there we have it all right okay the Allen key out, make sure everything's okay with the camera. Right, okay, Oops. let's kick the alarm system back in place. Be careful with these because you don't want to break these tabs, you'll break them the once and God knows if you can get that tray. Right, okay, let's put the lead back up. Right, can't mix these up. Burnt orange to burnt orange. In you go. Triple white to triple white. There's only one way these can go in, double white to double white, and double black to double black. And the leads are crap the way they're laid in. They are, they are not good. But um, it's supposed to be better on the, um, on the, um, on the new, what was I saying, about the new, um, the new XG, the street, um, not the street. Take a breath, take a breath, have a drink of water. The new, Street Rod 750. People saying it's a better bike, it's a better bike, it's better this. Don't get sucked in by the hype. Okay, they're saying, oh, it's 18% better. You know, we've redone this, we've redone that. Shorter, snubbier nose. Feet position higher up, further back. A flat bar, so <sighs> it's more of a, yeah, a, a street fighter kind of bike than a sports cruiser. I want a cruiser. And 18%. Listen, right, what they've done is they changed the air filter in the air box and they bolted it on and saying it's giving you X amount percent more. Yeah, right, so that's changed the normal air filter in your other bike. It'll give you the same percentage. That's only, oh, it revs up to this. Yeah, if you throw it through the air fast enough, you get the air in. But, you know, 30 miles an hour is 30 miles an hour, 40 is 40. You, you won't note the horses at that end. Um, they're saying it's, um, what is it, it's 12, um, 12 to 1 compression ratio, where the other one's 11.1 .1 to 1. Listen, for 9 point, keep it. You know, I'm not worried about it. Uh, yeah, I, I think these are still the better bet. But the new V-Rod comes with twin discs. New V rods, new streets come with twin disc front end SDs upside down forks. Um, so check it out, have a look. Check it out, have a look. But this is done, okay. Um, I can throw the seat back on without the towel section. There's no point in doing that because Jeff's got to pinstripe it all up. So um, we're done. I'm out of here.